Up until this point in this course, we've been taking a look at descriptive statistics, where we describe a sample or describe a population. We want to get to a point where we can do inferential statistics, where we infer or guess how the population is behaving as a whole based on a sample. And all of those inferences are based on concepts found in probability. So we're going to take a brief break from statistics to take a look at probability so that we can transition into that inferential statistics. Probability is a number that measures how likely an event is to occur. And we give it a measurement, a number. And the, how that number works is the closer that number is to 1, we say it is a, the more likely it is to occur. And the closer that number is to 0, we say it is less likely to occur. And if it's right in the middle, if it's closer to 0 0.5, it would be equally likely and unlikely to occur. Now a couple notes about this measurement to make sure that we've got legitimate probabilities. Probabilities are always positive and between 0 and 1 inclusive, meaning the probability can be 0 and it can be 1. And so that's where we get the idea is the closer to 0 you are, the less likely it is to occur. The closer to 1, the more likely it is to occur. And 0.5 right in the middle is equally likely or unlikely to occur. And so the formula that we use to calculate these probabilities is we take a look at the number of things or the number of outcomes that we want or that are desirable, and we divide by the number that are possible. And probabilities can be expressed as a decimal, a percent, or a fraction. While all three are equally valid, in general, we are going to prefer the decimal version of probabilities for this course. Occasionally, we'll do the percents. And very rarely, if ever, will we do the fraction representation. Let's look at an example. Let's say we draw a card from a standard 52 card deck. And we want to know the probability that that card we draw is a heart. Well, if I were to look at a standard 52 card deck, there are four different suits with 13 cards of each suit, which means there are 13 cards that are heart. There are 13 cards we want out of 52 cards possible. And so if we take 13 divided by 52, we get the decimal 0 0.25 is the probability that any random card in the deck would be a heart. What if I wanted the probability that I drew a face card? Well, this might take a little bit more thinking about the deck. The face cards are the jack, the queen, and the king. And they come in each suit, hearts, diamonds, spades, and clubs. So in each suit, you'll find all three face cards, jack, queen, king, jack, queen, king, jack, queen, king. So there are a total of 12 cards that we would be content with, that we want, that we're looking for, 12 face cards out of a total of 52 cards in the deck. 
And so if I take 12 divided by 52, I see we get a probability of 0 0.2308. Because that's a smaller probability, we can see we are less likely to get a face card than we are to get a heart if we draw a random card from the 52 card deck. This is the idea of probability. How likely is an event to occur?